About uh, three years ago, I had a uh, vintage uh, Italian car, which I uh, ended up parting my ways with. Right away, I knew I needed to uh, acquire something else, and I went out and bought uh, two Porsches, like as quick as I could do it. I wanted to get something that was efficient and that ran right and that I could get into and just drive. One of my favorite things to do is to get up at like six, seven o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. And in LA, nobody's around. It's completely empty, even downtown. There's so many roads to go on, and there's you know so much to do as far as driving goes. When I first picked up this car, I did a half paint job because one side needed needed paint all the way down on the right side. I needed a dashboard and I redid the seats. I needed to dial in the engine. It's hard to get a perfect car. There was work to be done, but it had all the bones and it was the right color. Uh, extremely reliable where I can find mechanics when I need them the parts are available it's a lot better than having uh, a car that you can't find things for This car is incredible to drive. It sticks to the road and it's got plenty of power. It isn't an S, it isn't an E, but really to be honest with you, I couldn't afford one of those. And in the end, this car, I can go just as fast as I need to anywhere in this thing. I'm gonna be doing the uh, Peking to Paris rally in uh, 2019. The rally's uh, 8,500 miles long, all through Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Russia, down through Poland, and, and back to Paris again. That's a dream. It's a total, total dream. I can't wait to get out in the uh, Porsche and camp and just rough it rather than, you know, city driving or coming home, you know, after a stressful day. Yeah, I take the car out. Yeah, I get on the mountain roads. Yeah, it's a release. But in the end of the day, you know, out in the middle of nowhere for six weeks, it's going to be an amazing venture. It's something that I want to keep for life because it's such a solid car. No matter what, it just keeps on running and you can beat it up a bit and you can haul ass and it still does great and starts up every day. I think I learned that uh, having patience, you really get the right thing. Taking it easy, taking the time, and having the dream, and then, then you get what you want. I'm Kurt Gerhardt, and I drive a Porsche 1969 911T.